the researchers from Google came out with this model that had both feed forward mechanism and then the self attention mechanism. It happened in 2017 when they published this research paper known as attention is all you need. Uh, so transformers are models that rely entirely on attention and they don't process sentences one word at a time. They look at the whole sentence at once in parallel. So what is the, what are the benefits of the transformers? Uh, you get fast training, faster training handles long context and scales extremely well. So that's why transformers are the backbone of these models like GPT, BERT, Llama, Claude, etc. So let's understand um, in a step-by-step -step way the transformer architecture and different components that come into the picture. So now um, the model, um, so as we know, transformer is the model uh, design behind GPT, BERT, Llama, Gemini and almost every modern AI system. And uh, the transformer uh, has basically two main parts that is encoder and the decoder. Uh, think think of it think of it this way, right? The encoder reads and understands the uh, input, the user query, the prompt. The decoder generates the output based on that understanding, right? So you can see on the left hand side, it's called the encoder part, uh, the encoder side left block. Uh, it has input embedding. So when we feed text into the model, words are first they get converted into vectors because machines understand everything in the embedding format, vector embedding format. So these vectors represent meaning. And then we see that there are positional encoding. Transformers don't process text in order like RNNs, right? Like we saw in uh, recurrent neural networks. So we need to add information about word positions, right? Uh, positional embeddings are added to capture the order of the tokens where the word comes the sequence of the order because this helps the model understand things like dog bites man versus man bites dog uh, so that context carrying is very important that's why that's where we see the positional encoding and then and then we also see the multi-head attention here now this is the magic part the attention right the uh, model looks at all words in the sentence at once and learns which words are related to which for example in the cat sat on the mat and uh, it was fluffy the model learns it refers to the cat so basically that is where again the context is getting carried properly right so multi-head simply means it looks at relationships from multiple perspectives at the same time right not looking at the individual word 